I'm on the Amalfi Coast and one of the things it is known for is its cultivation of lemons. Limoncello comes from around this area, but lemons that you see here being cultivated in neat rows are sort of gold for this area. And if you notice the way they are um, grown here is in, well in rows because we're on the side of the mountains, but um, they are kept up by the light wood of made of chestnut trees and the the plants are trained to bend down so if you see them like here where they're not bending is because the the lemon grove is not being tended to carefully a lot of people are abandoning this cultivation because it's just not very profitable and it's so much work look at this there there are no roads that connect up here to down to the main road so if you cultivate lemons here you have to carry everything and carry them carry the lemons down so I have a lot of lemons I always have a lot of lemons here people give me lemons I always say that if you don't have, if you have to buy lemons around here, either you don't have any land or you don't have any friends because people are quite generous with their lemons. And I set one up here to paint and I've already done a basic sketch. Um, so I'm going to have a table that's not very stable but hopefully it will stay and I'm gonna um, go in with my lightest yellow I know there is such a yellow called lemon yellow I, I have a few tubes of that I just don't really like it because it's not transparent and to me lemons what's so beautiful about their color is how transparent they are so I'm using this transparent yellow and then I'm adding a little bit of gamboge. This particular lemon that I'm sketching comes from this, the garden of this apartment building where I am, where they don't really, uh, I mean, the lem there's lemons and they're beautiful, but they don't take, um, they don't really cultivate them as much as they could. And so, they're not as large as some of the lemons. Some of the lemons you see in this area are huge. Um, this is a rather ordinarily sized lemon, which is good because the paper I have is tiny. And this will allow also the leaf and a little bit of the I moved it after sketching it. I'd sketch the the shadow as well because the sun is kind of going in and out and it's gonna change. The best thing I can do now is to let this dry. Continue with Gamboge. Which is one of my favorite yellows and my go-to warm yellow. I also have and very much like um, quinacridone gold here I'll show you. This is quinacridone gold. It's a little bit um, more brownish. Gamboge really is perfect for a warm yellow. Um, let's go over the leaves and I'm gonna add for unity a little bit of gamboge to that sap green
And as you can see, there's a little bit of green in this part. I don't know what the official name for it is. I call it nipple sometimes, but it's probably not what it's called. Um, I'm gonna do the shadow with my trusty shadow violet. I love shadows here and the sun is so strong that the shadows are very intense. be happy to paint and I mean I'm not wishing this time away obviously but it's really challenging to paint like this still it's probably a good way to learn a little bit of green here it's really quite fabulous how quickly Everything dries under the warm and dry sun of late June in the Mediterranean. So fortunate. And I think the best thing I can do now is to leave this alone. this to my lemon, cut it, squeeze it, and I don't drink wine much, but there's wine glasses in the apartment. Because most people who come to the Amalfi Coast do like their wine or some water. And I wish I could share this with all of you because I do have enough lemons to make lemonade for a crowd. <laughs> 